This video is going to demonstrate using the Spooky Boost. In this case, I'm going to use a Spooky Boost cable. This was Spooky Boost version 1. Um, you can use Spooky Boost 2 or 3. It really doesn't make any difference. And this is how you do it. I've removed the two adapters off the cable. Um, that was this adapter I removed off of both ends. I had one on each end. And I made up this adapter here, which is basically a serial adapter. And what that means, it takes the two windings and it connects them in serial and reduces them down to one plug. Here's the Spooky Boost. I'm going to plug the Spooky Boost into the Spooky. and connect the two together. Okay, so now we have the Spooky Boost, two channels connected to each end of the Spooky Boost, coming out, one output going into a serial adapter that I'm holding in my hand, into the coil. The, the two windings of these coils now look like one winding to the Spooky. Looks like one big winding. And we're going to continue using the program that we just set up in the previous video. And we're going to go to settings and explain something here. Now you can't see this, but I'm going to capture the screen again. And click. And at this end over here, where my hand is at, we have two signals that are 180 degrees out of phase and the lower window demonstrates what the spooky boost looks like. It looks like one huge sine wave which is the combination of these two uh, channel 1 and channel 2 waves. And in effect instead of delivering 20 volts max to one half of the coil from one channel and 20 volts max from one half of the coil to the other channel we're going to generate 40 volts again the spooky really can't do 20 and 20 it can do maybe 18 or so out of each channel we're going to generate we'll just call it 40 for now because that's what we dialed in um, through the software 40 volts to one coil one whole coil not split into two that's what the purpose of the serial adapter is and we will generate a magnetic wave. Um, so I have this now set channel one is a sine wave and I have channel two is invert sync and that's exactly what I want to generate one nice big magnetic wave. So I'm going to go over to the control and start the program and we can look at the wave. And we can put the coil on top and there you go. We are using the Spooky Boost to generate a bigger wave going to the coil. And we're pretty much getting the uh, slightly, just a slightly uh, stronger output than if I had connected it as I did before with each channel of the Spooky driving one half of the coil. In essence, it's pretty much the same, but if you want to use your Spooky, I've just showed you a way to use your Spooky. Now, if you want to use your Spooky Boost, is what I meant to say. If you want to use your Spooky Boost, I've just shown you a way to use your Spooky Boost. If you want to use the Spooky Boost um, to generate scalar waves, I have another cable. And I have another cable. Where did I put that other cable? Here it is, right here. And it looks just like the cable I'm presently using, except it has three red, and you can see them on the video, three red um, little stripes on the wire. 
indicating that it is a scalar wave um, reverse cable. So let's see what happens when we plug that in. Let's turn the program off. Let's stop it. Let's swap out this cable. We don't make any other changes. Plug in this adapter cable. And let's start the program. So the only difference is, is I've swapped a cable that has black ID stripes on it, meaning it's a serial cable. And we'll call this a scalar wave cable adapter. Serial cable adapter, square wave cable adapter. Let's start the program. And no, notice what you see again. You see that straight line where what this scalar wave cable adapter does, it takes and reroutes one phase of the signal going through half the coil and then the other phase of the signal going through the other half of the coil and it flips them around so they're 180 degrees out of phase and then you get that straight line like we did before. So these two cable adapters are not necessary, but they're available. And there might be some small significant difference using these cable adapters versus plugging in each cable AC prong using one of these adapters. So there's my presentation on how to use the Spooky Boost cable with the mag coil. Thank you very much.